Hello YouTube and welcome to another video of mine. My name is PonyXL, now aka Ponybus. Today I'm bringing you guys a gameplay video of my favorite, one of my favorite strategy games, um, Shigun 2 Total War or Total War uh, Shigun 2, whatever you want to call this game. Um, let me pause here and explain a couple of things about this game. First of all, it's an RTS game on the computer. Um, it has been made by uh, the Creative Assembly and it's published by Sega if I'm not mistaken and it plays in ancient Japan so you got these awesome melee units and and bow units and all kinds of awesome stuff um, so let me explain the units to you guys first of all I brought two of these guys these are called Yari Ashigaru they're basically like, like low ranked um, spear units with not that great of uh, melee attack or defense or whatnot, but they're very good against uh, against horses uh, like horseback riders like these guys. Um, and when you put them in spirit wall, they can very well hold an attack if people like if the if the other army rushes toward you. By the way, I'm playing a one v one versus uh, another player uh, online. I did not know the person. And over here, I have bow shugaru or basically uh, bow peasants. Or well, the same as these guys, this low-end bow units. But these guys, uh, these guys uh, are in, in the numbers, um, so that's good. And also, these already had a rank up, so I called them Jew Bear. <laughs> Don't be uh, insulted. I called them in. in uh, I was inspired by the movie *Inglorious Bastards* to call them like that. I don't know why, because they kick ass. Um, then over here, I got more. These units are better. These guys are called. Uh, IQ Samurai, these are both Samurai units, they have better range, better ammo, better accuracy, all that, but they don't have, like these guys have 120 guys in, this, in a unit and these have 90, so they don't come with the same amount of numbers, so. Also, uh, I brought these guys, uh, these are called Yari Samurai, they're spear units like these guys, but then Samurai, better train, better melee, better everything basically, and better morale, that's kind of what I forgot to so, tell. These guys' morale is very low, of the excitement here up front. But the guys up here are freaking excellent. Uh, I mean, sorry, <laughs> over here are better with morale. So they can hold longer and, and won't get routed out of the battle. Then here I got my general unit. The guy with. Uh, it doesn't have blue on his back. Uh, it's the general. This is right here. This guy. Um, he is the general. And what he does is, first of all, you can use him, obviously. But the main thing he uh, uh, does is inspire your troops, and when you get them close by, the morale be, will be high. Uh, otherwise, you'll get low, and if your general dies, you're like usually you end up in a big uh, yeah problem because uh, then you lose your general unit, and that's not really good. And the morale will go, and all your units will run out of the battlefield. And finally, I got these guys called Fire Cav, and these are pretty cool units, but the stupid thing is, I completely forgot I had them because I lined my units up like this, and I was my camera view was like this all the time, and I didn't look at the mini map. Uh, like, I think I called these units in in the battle at the last second, but like, uh, it was too late. The battle's already over. So, but let's get started. Wait, wait, sorry. I have to show you this guy's army. He has uh, one, two, one, two, uh, wait, yeah, you got four of these spear guys, the same guys I have, and then you got the the sword uh, equivalent of these guys, they got lone sword, and then he brought four units of uh, Nakinada warrior monk uh, horsemen, and uh, these guys are pretty badass, but they're defense isn't that all, all that good or, or like I mean their armor uh, isn't all that good and then he has his general unit so he brought a pretty big army and I was kinda worried because I didn't have that much horses but remember these guys are pretty nasty when it comes to um, killing a horseman and also these these guys sorry um, so yeah let's get started here there you go so you the green the green up you see up here up the banners that's actually um, the morale and when it starts to go yellow or red then you're in trouble and when your entire banner starts to waver then your men are about to rout 
So what you usually do is you try to protect your general. Uh, I also did that, but I, I wanted this hill uh, early on, so I would have a downhill advantage, or at least so that he couldn't charge me downhill because that gives you uh, gives you a offensive bonus basically. These guys are, yeah, I completely forgot my know it's stupid, but <laughs> um, oh well. So also I wanted to tell you guys I have a brand new monitor uh, so now I'm recording in 1080p uh, full HD so my video size will be different and that's pretty cool so for all the gameplay I record on PC it will be in 1080p now hopefully in widescreen and if not I'll fix it so uh, it's all good and I was uphill the quickest but I was so scared for his charge so I lined my troops up over here and I waited for him and about any second, yeah, that's what I thought. They start to fire the arrows. Looks pretty cool, eh? But, oh, here you go, half time. So these, I actually already killed a couple of these horse guys with my arrows. Thing is, I was so scared for these guys, so I brought my spear units right in time. But I have them in pike formation, that also gives me a bonus. But as you saw, they attacked me just before I could get them properly set up. But these guys are in better shape, as you see. And they hold them pretty good, but I was still pretty scared. So I retreated my bowmen because they're useless in melee fights. And I actually, I think I brought these guys in any moment, the Yari Samurai, um, to counter these horse guys. You can see my morale is starting to drop. The morale of these uh, Nakinada Warrior units is usually pretty good. So that started to uh, concern me. Uh, so I think yeah, my general is pretty close by. You see that the morale already is going higher, and now the morale of my enemy is going lower. And now I, I charge him with these guys, Yari uh, Yari Samurai. It's really gnarly. I'm playing in half time now, <laughs> just to show you guys the awesomeness of this game. Oh, that guy got nailed. Like these pikemen are incredibly good against the horsemen. Well, then he brought his main body of his army, so that kind of sucked. But still, I did okay. These guys almost left the battlefield, almost. You see his banner waving, but you see the... Yeah, it's going up now, because the general is nearby. And I uh, used the rally ability, which gives him a little bit of bonus, I believe. I'm not completely sure, guys, who played this game for a long time, I'm sorry. I'm still kind of a noob online. This is like my first online battle ever. So, everyone, so yeah. And somebody logged in on Xfire. I believe, I believe I play this game in DirectX 9 mode, actually, accidentally. Usually I play, uh, play in DirectX 11 mode, so I'll make my next video about that. But I got two battles um, for you guys in one video. But yeah, like, at this point, actually, his guys got hammered in um, by, by my units. They were actually getting killed by my units, and my bow units were here as well, as well I mean, but they weren't that great at all. Um, I'll put it in normal speed. I he, some guys came through here that kind of scared me, but it wasn't that much, and I, I blocked the main body of the army, anyways. The camera angles are awesome of this game. I love it. My morale is still pretty high. You see, my general is still here, and I used the rally ability, and I actually killed a lot of his horsemen because his horsemen are pretty useless against spikemen. Um, I mean, they're good, but only if you charge them in the back, and he didn't do that, so... What I did... Yeah, that's what I did. I moved all my bullions to the left flank, and I wanted to fire on the retreating guys. But this... This is what I mean. Morale is so important in this game. Like, you can see that they're already retreating. Here I got... <laughs> he got a nice small charge in the back of my units. That was a pretty smart move. But he should have uh, retreated his men as soon as he can, because... Once my men start to fight back, then he's in trouble, so... You can see this unit is in poor shape. And these guys are retreating all... Like, I don't know, everywhere basically. They're scattered. And here I start to take on this general. Also my bowmen are firing on him. Poor bow, bow guy. And... You see him still walking in pike formation. The, be the benefit is that it's they're stronger when they get attacked. The problem is, is that they walk slowly. But yeah, I scared off his general. That's how low the morale of his general got. So that kind of sucks. And that was the battle already. It went really, really, really fast. So I'm sorry if I didn't cover the, my camera angles properly. I, I still have to get used to that. But uh, it was a nice battle. 
but uh, the video is not done yet. I'm bringing you guys a second battle. Um, single player battle replays. There we are. So this game I played against the same player accidentally because I didn't use any server list or anything. And I just the the, the last time in last battle I captured an area of the map where I could get uh, samurai units, sword samurai units. So now I actually have better men. I don't have as much men as I did in the last battle, but I, d I have better men. So that really uh, helps me out. So yeah, here we go. Let me show you guys what I got here. Pause for a second. This time I brought excellent quality units. Um, I brought two units of Yari Samurai, the same units as in the last battle. Uh, these are awesome pikemen, and behind them are two units of katana samurai. These guys are freaking insane. It's still my favorite unit of this game. Um, this is good in, in in any sort of battle, except for you know when they they're not as good as uh, against Gav as they as these guys are. But uh, in sword fights, like they will get any any unit, any land unit, they will basically. Slaughter, man, it's incredible. These guys are awesome. And I have the, uh, the general unit, and I also brought the same archer units over here because they are, um, well, at least this unit has a rank, uh, has ranked up. It will give them, you can later buy them upgrades and stuff. So, yeah. Oh, almost forgot. This time I didn't forget to use my horses, but I hid them here in the forest. It's cool because in this game you can hide them in the forest. And you can set your armies up before the battle. So I set it over here because I saw. The, well, I guess this army would start here, and I was right. Um, what he has is he has one, two. He has three units of uh, Yari Ashigaru, those uh, guys again with the uh, with the pikes, but their morale is pretty low. And he bought one. Brought, sorry, one, two, three units of lone swords. These guys are better, but not still not that good. And then he brought warrior nuns, which I've never seen before, uh, but they're pretty cool. Like they're pretty cool units, don't you think? And then of course his general as well, which by the way is a bow un bow general. He also carries a bow, but uh, I prefer a melee general. Now these buildings you can capture gives you bonuses, and there's three of them. You have to stand with your with a couple of units or one unit in this circle to capture it. And this one will give you uh, increased melee attack and charge of all units. So that's the one I start to capture because you know it's close. Let me actually start to play because it will it will take some time this battle. But the thing is, you you see that he outnumbers me by a lot. By I mean a lot, but um, I I have awesome quality units so this time I, I actually was a little bit nervous because he had so much units but I still had a little bit of confidence but at a certain point uh, in battle uh, I got more scared I'll let you know when <laughs> um, but yeah so I captured this but he's going to capture this one it gives you a morale bonus for all units and he captures eventually he will capture this one which will give you an increase of armor and melee defense for all units so Overall, we're about the same again, except he has higher morale for his units, but uh, it still wasn't really high enough uh, because my units are just in, in, have insane quality and their morale is also very low. And I usually use my general well, you know, to get them close by and give these guys uh, high morale as well. So yeah, I started to set up these units over here. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to kill his general early on. And I saw that he moved his main body of the army to the left over here. But he left his general here to capture it. And I was like, oh, this is actually might be a nice opportunity. So like any any second now, I charge out these guys, light calf. Let me tell you, these guys suck ass. These guys are really, really terrible. Um, these are the worst and cheapest, like the cheapest horsemen. And they're good for like striking units in the back. And chasing off routing units on the battlefield. Other than that, they, they really suck, in my opinion. Uh, or just I'm not good with them, but in general, they, they suck. Um, so, as you can see here, I came out of the forest and I wanted to charge this guy, and his charge completely filled. The only thing that didn't fill is this guy uh, dismounted his general of his horses. 
So actually what I did in this attack is scare off his horses so he couldn't use his horses anymore. And it, so it takes him a long time to go across the battlefield now with his general. But that's the thing, his horses charged, uh, I mean blocked my, my charge so that really really sucked. Otherwise I would have gotten more kills. I get a couple of kills, but not his actual general, only his bodyguard. These guys are his bodyguard with the freaking balloon things on their back, I don't know what to call them. I tried to charge him here, uh, in here, it worked a little bit better, but like not high speed. He only lost two guys, and I lost f uh, four, actually not that much right now. But then these guys came out of the woods as well, and this is where I start to be scared. These are matchlock horses. These guys are like have like these Asian guns and with that one volley of fire I went down to 11 well 12 units in this <laughs> in this unit so you can see how devastating that is and he saved the general but he also accidentally killed a couple of his general bodyguard with his own fire so he only has uh, 20, uh, 20 of the 30 left in his general so it kind of worked I guess it was worth it because the unit sucks ass anyways but this got me worried because this is shallow water he can you know, uh, flag me from all kinds of areas, and I didn't feel okay. He also had this Boshigaru unit, and my confidence at this point was pretty low that I would win because, as you know, uh, let me show you in comparison. Both my uh, Katana Samurai units have 120 men per per unit, and this unit has 120. This is Yari Samurai, and this is 108. Oh wait, sorry, that's the other one. Uh, both my Yari Samurai have 120 units uh, uh, per unit. <laughs> so, but his, he has 150, 75, 150, 100. Well, you can see where this goes. 150. Oh, well, a little bit less because they, these guys do arrow fire. But uh, you know what I, where I'm going with this. He outnumbers me badly. So. I got a couple of volleys with my arrows uh, off and then I decided to retreat and um, set up a line of defense because I was really scared and this also gives me a downhill uh, uh, advantage as well which will give me some better melee attack but he didn't fall for it he just waited to capture that shrine uh, whatever you call it sorry but still, I was nervous for these guys, these mounted gunners. These are, oh my goodness, they can be very strong when used properly. Uh, so that got me nervous, so that was smart of him to bring those out. But I'm not going to lie, I'm not trying to be an asshole toward my opponent, but he didn't use them properly. Um, I'm not going to lie, that was pretty bad how he used them. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. It's just, what I, I wouldn't do it personally again. Yeah, actually, I was, that's the also the thing of these guys. They have insane attack, but their morale is pretty low, and their armor isn't that great. So I did a small volley with arrows. Oh shit! Sorry, here is the main attack happening right now. You can see how much units he has. All the white guys, like white banner guys, are attacking me. Ours, but I tried to get his uh, mounted gunners here. And actually got a couple of them over here in the melee attack with my uh, katana samurai. Actually, I got one of them over here. I got well, make that three or some. I killed like three of my melee unit. Uh, it wasn't that great. <laughs> I still start to bash in with um, my pikemen and my arrows, and now I started to do the downhill attack with my katana samurai. And also, I used a special ability with these guys. Um, I ran them downhill with the with uh, I'm not sure what the special ability was again, but uh, they have a f quicker attack. Also, what I missed to show you guys and apologize for that is I did a s quick charge with my general unit in these arrow uh, dudes right here, and it sort of like routed them. Not really, but as you can see, the morale is low. Also, their units walked a long way, so what that means they're getting tired. Now you see that with that feed logo over here. These are not that tired, but still pretty tired. Oh, very tired it says, but these guys are broken, very tired. And it can turn red and then they are so tired and morale will be very low and they won't be able to fight properly anymore. So I left my general here for a moment. Still got a couple of shots in this guy, but I, I think I killed a couple of my own as well. Some arrow fire. I started to chase him down. 
Uh, but I also started to get a little bit afraid because of I thought his main body would come back and it eventually I, it did and he would get a downhill charge so that kind of scared me a little bit because that can have a huge impact on your morale so yeah I'm just keeping on slaughtering these poor guys over here it's just it really it's really sad but these guys came back from routing the uh, mounted gunners or they flanked through the forest I'm not sure what happened but yeah, I scared these guys complete off completely. They, these guys won't be able to get back into the battle. If you don't have wear a banner anymore, they're just too scared. I think he got one or two shots, uh, not that much here on my units. But I started to rush for his uh, mounted gunner unit because I wanted it dead as quick as I could. And yeah, he only got one or two shots. I'm not sure how much, but uh, it wasn't that great. And you see how vulnerable these guys are, these uh, mounted gunners. They're, they're dropping in numbers like already halfway gone and counting <laughs> but here's this is what I mean he started to charge back down the hill this is kinda was worrying me so I brought my general in quickly to hire the morale of my units and my units are starting to get tired as well by the way uh, pretty tired at that and I brought my uh, bow units as well you can you see how long it took for his general unit to get close by that was his mistake he didn't use his general unit at all to give high morale to his men he just used it it's to use yeah as a bowman and he tr tried to get closer but it was too late you guys saw you know he was on that other time of this little lake all the time over here so yeah he didn't give his units any morale and I concentrated my arrow fire on his general unit I killed a couple of them but I wanted to kill him as quickly as I could so he wouldn't get a an upper hand because still he still has quite a big yeah quite a bit of numbers what I did here, by the way, is I retreated my katana samurai and let them rest a little bit. And when needed, I wanted to get these guys. Oh, by the way, this unit is pretty high, low in morale. That's because they are a little bit away from my general. So I, I retreated all my men for a second here because I wanted to charge them again. Um, but that didn't go as planned. They got intercepted over here. So I started to charge back again. This is kind of a mistake of myself here. I left my general unit. In, the, in this fight a little bit too long and actually I wanted to get them away but I clicked the wrong button so yeah actually quite a, a couple of guys of his body yeah the bodyguard unit died right there but yeah then I start to uh, charge down hill over here again with my katana samurai and they're just beating these guys you can see already that even with the, the general of this guy getting close his morale is terrible so usually what I do nowadays is bring armies with high morale oops and then this is also a mistake I made uh, which is weird on him but it was too late like he didn't get that much kills of this unit because uh, the morale is so low so now the, his army is mass retreating and the aim yeah there you go the game was ending so that was it guys uh, those are my two um, my first two Shagoon 1v1 battles I played the 2v2 once it, it went really badly I sucked at that uh, point so but now uh, it was pretty good I hope you guys like this video and uh, I hope you to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye bye.